Welcome to Samsta Games, the place to find new strategy games. And today we're going to play a game called Hexagon, which is a real-time strategy game with base building. It came out just a few days ago. So big thank you to the developer for giving me a key. And now let me read you about our mission. In the year 2216, an AI-equipped vessel was created and embarked on a journey to a potentially habitable planet. Its primary objective was to terraform and pre-establish a settlement for humans on the fourth planet in the Vega star system, over 25 light years from Earth. Sounds great, right? The ship took 41 years to arrive at Vega 4. Eh, a uh, little slow, a little slow. Upon reaching the planet, the AI determined that it could be terraformed and a signal was transferred back to Earth to send a colony ship to arrive 200 years later. Following the terraforming activity, the AI's directives were overwritten and began to develop weapons technology. It spread over the entire planet in an effort to prevent humanity from inhabiting the planet. Terminals were constructed to control the weapons and defenses and to store resources and power. Unknowingly to the AI, another AI subroutine activated one of the terminals. I am now activated! Completely independent from the central corrupted AI, this new entity had a new objective. I must ensure that mankind safely reaches Vega 4. This subroutine is you, and you must take back the planet at all costs. I am on it! Do not even worry! It's like it already happened! Alright, so let's play this thing, and let's go save humanity. Alright, so we actually don't need to know how to play, you're just gonna straight up begin the mission. So the way this works is that you can build anywhere on these blue tiles, and the enemy is here on the red tiles. In order to win, you need to destroy the enemy. On the left, you can see your metal and your energy. We currently have 60 metal and 100 energy, we cannot store anymore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build an additional terminal, which will allow me to store a bit more metal and energy. Then I'm going to place an extractor over here, which is going to give me more metal. We get plus five metal per second, I believe, and we get plus 100 energy per second, but we're using 45 out of that. So this way you kind of have to ensure that you have enough metal. Now let me place a couple more terminals. I'm going to place one over here. Uh, maybe over... Over here. I am kind of worried that, yeah, this uh, enemy cannon can shoot to this position. So we want to make sure that you do not place your terminals there. We are going to place one more solar panel so that we can have plenty of energy and then we're going to start by building our cannon in order to build a cannon we need 150 metal so we need to be able to store that much we're currently only able to store 120 but now because we finished this terminal we can actually store that much so let's me place a cannon over here now the enemy cannon will shoot at it that's okay as soon as our is kind of bit built it's going to shoot back but as soon as we get 150 metal we're actually going to place one more cannon over here so that we can shoot the enemy cannon down. Let's place it over there. And we're going to tell our cannon, hey, go shoot at it as soon as you're built. Go destroy that enemy cannon. That's what I want from you. Gotta watch out for your energy. Make sure that you always have enough. So let's build one more energy terminal there. Uh, sorry, in a solar panels there. And then we'll place one more terminal over here. Now this is about to get destroyed soon. But that's okay because we can build another cannon there if we wanted to. Which you probably don't even need to because we should be able to destroy this one with our own cannon pretty easily. So let's just build another terminal here. And then we're going to build a new cannons a bit more closer to the enemy. Right, like for example on the tile that the cannon was. Once we can. Uh, we'll build one more cannon kind of here a bit sooner. I will tell this thing. They will shoot enemy structures automatically if there are some in range so we don't have to worry about it. Also they originate, regenerate health if nobody's shooting at it. That's quite useful. So let me build a couple more terminals so that we can kind of get in business here and start building a bit more cannons to destroy anything. You need to destroy every enemy tile in order to be able to win. Every single one, there's no debate. Just gotta destroy them all and once you do that you are victorious. It will happen very soon. I plan to destroy them all. But if you're wondering what is the name of my AI, I have named it Timo after one of my newest patrons. Thank you so much for becoming a patron and uh, I hope you stay a long time. <laughs> All right, so we're running out of energy, as you can see over here. So we got to very quickly build a solar panel, build it over there, because we're losing energy like crazy. We're gonna tell our cannons to destroy his cannon, because, yep. 
So we ran out of energy, but we're still kind of working. The solar perm is going to be done very soon. So once that's finished, we could actually destroy them pretty easily. Yeah, but I want to say that I appreciate all my patrons. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, yeah. All right, let's go kill them all. Let's do it. Uh, do we want to buy another canyon? I think we might. I mean, we don't really need to because this can should be able to destroy them. But in order to speed it up, let's do it. Let's build one more over here. We'll tell this one to destroy that cannon over there. And you, we should, we should actually be destroying the cannon. Like that should be a priority, not this little extractor there. But it doesn't really matter. We can also speed it up up here because at this point we're just going to win very quickly. So we can just speed it up and be like, hey, go destroy everything. How dare they build another extractor? It's not gonna last very long, like, come on. You know that you're gonna lose. Just stop, stop trying to build that extractor, it's gonna be destroyed. I must attempt to win. Loss is not in my programming. <laughs> and apparently they don't even have, like, uh, botched up speech in their programming because they're the super cool crafted AI. My AI has bad speech, but at least it won. <laughs> We're gonna do mission number two. To continue expanding and putting up a fight, you must improve your technology. See, like, we gotta work on our speech, you know? We gotta learn to talk better. Yes, but it is not a priority, human. Gain the usage of processing cores to advance the capabilities of your structures. The center ally is still largely unaware of your presence, but that will not last for long. We've got some new buildings and some new upgrades, so let's get this started. Alright, so what we've got here is a processing core which allows us to generate technology which gives us upgrades. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to start off by building one more solar panel. We're going to place that over here and a new terminal down here as soon as we can. You know what? Actually, no. We're going to build another excavator over here so we can get a bit more metal faster. And then I'm going to place a terminal over here when I can, which is now. It's going to allow us to expand in this area. Next thing I want to do is I will place one more terminal like so, so that I can start building on these two squares and build my first canyons, which will allow me to sort of start hitting him up so I can do some nice damage to him. I need to wait till we can have at least 150 metal, which is now. Let's build one over there and build another cannon down this way, which is should be very soon, like now. And then we're going to need a lot more energy, so let's place one more energy set up there, and one more here. Now, we're going to build another terminal this way, so we can start moving to the left. Now, when they destroy my stuff, there's some time delay, and afterwards we can start building there again. So I'm going to build another cannon over here, focus it on this cannon, so we can destroy this enemy cannon there. And I'm going to place one more cannon here as well, so we can start focusing on destroying this. We have enough energy, so that's good. So let me place another extractor this way, and another terminal like so. Another energy thing is going to be built there. Now, we've got enough for a processing core, so let me place it here. We're only probably only going to place one. Good, we destroyed their cannon. That's nice. So let's build a new cannon down here as soon as we can, which is now. I'm going to start destroying their stuff slowly. And maybe another one over here. Again, focus on their cannons where we can. Possibly one more cannon like there. there. Good, 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 good. Now, next we're going to need a terminal somewhere... There. Here? Maybe even here. The place is kind of up here from... The benefit of that is once we destroy enough of their tiles, we could actually grab some of their tiles and start to be able to build in sort of their direction, which I think would be quite useful. We also got to get a bit more solar panels. Now we've got upgrades, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one upgrade on everything, which is going to allow us to increase the range of a terminal, increase max health of extractor, decrease construction time for my solar panels, and decrease metal cost of my cannons. So you can see that because I have the terminal here, I can now start building on his part, so to speak. So we're going to place some cannons here to destroy more of his stuff. And I would also like another terminal here. So let's place one there. And I'm just going to place one more solar energy just to kind of be ready. Have some sort of backup if needed. Let's start destroying his terminals and kind of everything he has. Just because we can. Another canyon. Here would be nice. As soon as that gets destroyed, I'm going to build one more cannon here. And then it's essentially over for him. Because this one should have everything... It's going to have everything in range. Yeah, it seems like it. So we can just start destroying his stuff. 
You destroy that, you destroy that. You need something that's going to destroy this ex excavator that he has over there, so this can is gonna do that. And we've actually got enough energy so we can just let it run. Just decimate him. I am on it! The AI will be destroyed in mere moments. How long is a moment? It's going to take exactly one minute and 17 seconds. Your calculation, your calculation is wrong. Even though you will get this area, you will be the one decimated. Ah, that is not true. Please don't lie. <laughs> oh, we don't have a range on this? I thought we did. All right, so in that case, we need one more cannon like this. And we ran out of energy, so let me place a solar terminal over here. It's really not that big of a deal if you run out of energy. So the problem is the cannons will not shoot us often, so if the enemy had cannons, they would be able to destroy my cannons kind of like while I'm sort of not ready. But because I, they don't have any cannons on me, I can just, you know, I can just take my time. It doesn't really matter. You can't shoot that. Can you shoot this at least? You can't shoot that either. All right, well. See, your calculation was wrong. You didn't do it in time. It does not matter. You will be dead anyways. And I need to improve my technology to get as good calculations as you. <laughs> Alright, but I think this is a good time to end the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, write down in the comments. And you can click on the right to watch some other games I've played on this channel, like Starboard Delta or Ostrich, which is a city builder. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.